So my name is uh, Professor Valerie uh, Lund. I am Professor of Rhinology at University College London and I'm also uh, a consultant ENT surgeon at the Royal National Throat, Nose and Ear Hospital. Um, I was uh, delighted to be invited to the conference, uh, particularly celebrating its Silver Jubilee for the Pan-Arabic Rhinologic Society. Um, and I have visited Egypt on many previous occasions, uh, both for pleasure, because I love archaeology, but also to participate in meetings of the society. Um, I've been uh, delighted by the number of people who've been at the meeting and uh, my area of expertise uh, ranges from um, allergy through to tumours and I've been able to talk about a number of aspects of those uh, areas uh, throughout the, the meeting. Um, I think it's uh, the most important thing to say is that uh, we often get lost these days in technology uh, and um, the really exciting new areas of medicine and surgery, but we must never forget that the basics are the really important thing. The actual history that we take from patients and the diagnosis, which is very often based on cl still clinical examination, uh, particularly um, these days using endoscopes, but also uh, simple um, diagnostic tests, um, which need to be done before we rush on to do some imaging. On the other hand, we also have to remember that there are a number of rare conditions, uh, some of which I've talked about here, such as vasculitis and um, granulomatous conditions, as well as rare sinonasal tumours. Um, although they are rare conditions, if you miss them, obviously the consequences of that are quite serious. Um, my first uh, talk here was actually about something particularly rare. Um, but something which I see courtesy of the ophthalmology colleagues uh, with whom I work closely. Um, this is a condition in which the sinus has an effect on the eye. And I think it, what it does is it highlights the need to collaborate with colleagues and actually um, work uh, with them closely because there are many conditions which uh, benefit from a multidisciplinary approach. The ability to call on an ophthalmologist, a neurosurgeon, a respirologist, or indeed uh, an allergist has been something which throughout my career has been extremely helpful and I would strongly recommend that uh, one does this. The flavour of the month at the moment is precision medicine. Uh, precision medicine simply means making sure that you try and tailor the treatment to the right patient rather than just giving anything uh, without due consideration. Actually, that's something that we've always done. It's now possible to do it uh, more easily with some of the new uh, medications. But again, we should be able to do that with our existing treatments. And in particular, surgery has always been precision surgery, something that we tailor to the individual. And that's particularly true in inflammatory conditions such as chronic rhinosinusitis. More and more these days, we're talking about participation with patients and I think that's something that we should all endorse and actually practice. The patient has to be involved in the decision-making process and if we can do that in whatever uh, area of ENT or medicine that we follow, uh, then of course everybody will get a better deal. Thank you very much.